Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Minecraft Void Hero Map. If you guys have missed out on any episodes, like always, you can go back and check out the playlist so that way you can get caught up on the ones you've not yet seen. Uh, so as for today, uh, you might notice I look a little different. I definitely uh, did a new custom skin. I actually made my own skin finally. It's been long enough, I feel like it was time. So it is a skin that is actually like kind of modeled after me. It's got the beard. It's wearing the, the merch shirt, which I'm not actually wearing right now. I'm wearing some of Wolfwood's merch actually. But it's got like the Viking helmet on the front. And then on the back, we have Jake Games. Heck yeah, dude. It's got like a ponytail and also um, headphones. They're a little bit hard to see on like the skin this way. But if you go into here, you can definitely see them a little better. You got the headphones. How neat is that? And wearing uh, some gray shoes. Some simple gray shoes. I think it looks pretty nice. You guys have to let me know in the comments down below what you think. Uh, speaking of comments, we have no new commenter to add this time, but you can get added to the comment garden by dropping a nice, good comment, maybe a suggestion, a name for an animal, something like that. And uh, if I like your comment, then I shall add you to the comment garden. But what we do have is another member to add. Uh, so today, who we're going to be adding is Noah Detloff, and they have been a member for 11 months. Holy schmoly. Once again, thank you very much for the support. Thank you for being a member for that long. That is awesome. And uh, welcome to the member zone. Your name will forever live on a sign here in the member zone. Much appreciated, guys. Much appreciated, all the members. If you would like to become a member, it's only 99 cents, and that gives you a bunch of cool perks. You get access to a 24-7 cross-platform vanilla Minecraft server, and we are going to be starting Season 3 once 1.21 of Minecraft drops. So it's going to be all new streaming and a whole new world for, with plenty of opportunity to do some cool stuff. So definitely something to consider. Uh, but anyways, yes, today, let's go ahead and let's throw some some fragments. I think today what I want to do, so we picked up the mine fragment. It has to be Y less than 10. Throw the fragment to restore a small part of the world. Needs terrain above itself. So that's a little bit different from any of the other ones. It needs to be kind of underground. We're already, uh, oops, wrong button. We're already at a negative 31 on our Y value, so... What I'm thinking is if we come over here and go underneath of this stuff and we throw it down here, like we can kind of make our way down below here and throw it down there. And I'm thinking that should work. We can even go farther away and kind of head over that way. So that way it's not too near to the house. But I'm thinking that could be a good way to go about it. Uh, also, this thing I didn't mention, I changed the setup. So if you've seen the last one, I didn't quite have this, this sort of thing worked out. But uh, this is actually, I think, the best way to go about it. You put a minecart hopper underneath, so that way when the blocks, or when they break the bamboo, if it lands on the block, it'll still get picked up by the uh, minecart hopper. So it costs a little more iron, but um, I think it's worth it, because in the background, if I'm on here just AFK, like it's just pumping out the bamboo. So we're going to grab some of that. We're going to need some blocks. Maybe we can build a surface down there. Had a decent bit of bamboo in this uh, chest also, so we're, uh, we're pretty good. Pretty good on the bamboo. Let's see how much we're going to get. We're going to get, okay, 62. We have some uh, oak logs, too, because I did a little bit of fragment throwing between episodes. Um, just throwing, like, the death fragments and stuff like that so that way I can get some dirt. And uh, those always give you wood and, like, food, too, so they're pretty handy. Also, I don't know if I've mentioned it in a while, but you can go ahead and you can get this map. Uh, I link it in the description of every video, so if you want to check this out, you can click that link and it'll take you to the download page for this map. It is by Cod Azilla. It's called Void Hero. So definitely check it out if you're playing on Java and you want some cool kind of Sky Island map that you want to mess around with. Yeah, check this out. Oh, uh, I also got chicken and sheep that just kind of, they really just naturally spawned in here. So the cow is not lonely, but we're not getting any other cow spawning, which is a big bummer because I could really do with some leather, but it is what it is. I also spent a little time kind of making a path through here because I was running and jumping and having this crazy stupid path through here and like stuff was spawning like crazy. We still have a skeleton who wants to show up over here. Oh, nice. Good job. Uh, but anyways, yeah, it was like, you know, you're hopping your way through. So I made a little bit of a path through here and I lit it all up a bit better. So hopefully we're not getting as much spawnage as we were. So I think it might be a good idea to actually head over to here. Yeah, we can like kind of go underneath of here. We've already got like some surface down here. 
that we can uh, that we can mess around with. Just kind of clear out some of these blocks a little bit. I don't know if it'll. I think it replaces them, so it shouldn't mess things up too bad. But just to be sure. All right, so I've gone ahead and like cleaned up this space a bit, and there was I picked a bad space. There's actually a lot of water and stuff here, but hopefully this like meets the requirements of the blocks above. We're gonna go ahead and throw this thing and find out what happens, I guess. But uh, yeah, let's let's go ahead and do that. We'll throw it like at the end here. Whoa, oh, it fell. Oh, it did. It did. Uh, it worked. It actually didn't even work in like the area I had cleaned out here, but it worked down over there. That's pretty cool, actually. And also, that knocked off an achievement for me. Uh, yeah, abandoned. Create a mine shaft. We've we've done it. We've knocked it off. Another one down. So let's go ahead and get down there and explore it. I suppose. Uh, I'm gonna try and make like a bit of a staircase here. I guess. We've got a a landing right here. So we can kind of like staircase our way up back into this building that I just created. There we go. Now we can get back up to here. I'll have to make a staircase back up to there so we can actually like get out of here. But yeah, we've got we've got a way down now. I'm definitely going to start lighting this up. I think bad stuff can spawn. It's already starting, which uh, not going to be super great. We have a bow though, so I'm feeling a lot better about taking on baddies. Much easier now. Oop, we're getting shot. I should make a shield. That would be a good idea. I haven't done that yet. Whoa, we got a bunch more animals that just spawned in. Holy schmoly. They're not cows, though. I may have to... I, I, I feel bad about doing it, but I may have to take them out because I need cows to spawn in. And the more stuff we have spawning in, the less likely we're going to have cows. You know, like, we have to kind of limit the amount of mobs. The chicken, maybe we'll keep them around because we could actually start a chicken farm. I don't know. A little bit more bamboo popping off in there. I am going to go ahead and try and bring this chicken in. We could, we could do with a little bit of a chicken farm, I suppose. We'll have to split these animals up eventually. Come on. Get in here. Don't let the other ones out. Come on. Get in. No. Oh, God. It's all gone bad. Fudge. All right, chickens. Come on. You're ruining my farm, you dinguses. Now, other animals. Come on. Don't go wandering off the edge, you dingus. Look, I have wheat. It's right here in my hand, you dumb idiot. You know, a better way of going about this would have been if I put a block here and then I sort of do this. Come on. I have wheat and then I lead them in like this. Yeah, there we go. That's the way to go about it. Don't walk on the fence, just get in here. There you go. <laughs> there, now they're trapped. Very nice. All right, so back to what I was doing. I was gonna make a shield, because I haven't done that yet, and I should probably make, honestly, we could, we could do with making a sword, I think, because um, we're gonna be facing some baddies down there. Don't have a good sword yet, so I think that's a good investment. We can go ahead and try and use this one up first, though. Pop that shield on. Very nice, very nice. And let's go do some exploration. God dang it, we're getting so many slimes. It's like last series and this series. We got nothing but slimes. All right, I'm not sure what all is going to be here. Like, if there's going to be anything, any chests or anything. I mean, you would think there would be. It's um, abandoned mine shaft, so that's definitely something that should show up. Where'd that creeper go to? He definitely do be creeping, man. And I'm getting shot at. Once again, I'm dropping in. Gonna give him a smack. Nice. Freaking did it. Now, I need some blocks out here. Oh, I just got witched. You frig. Did they fall off? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Nice. We've done it. You can frig off. Nice. I'm surviving, man. I'm actually doing stuff. <laughs> Alright, there's a skeleton over there. We're gonna get a lot of mine cards from this, at least. If nothing else. Let's go in on this skeleton. Oops. Forgot to... Sh yep, there you go. That's that's the way to do it, buddy. Good freaking job. Yeah, the mine cards will be handy. As far as, like, the mob spawning, we don't really need that too much, because I have the mob farm now. Whoa, holy schmoly. That's a rough area down there. They're falling down from somewhere. Oh, they're falling from up there. That's interesting. I've kind of like created a mob spawner accidentally. We're definitely going to want to like light this up a bit. So that way we're not getting too much mob spawnage, stopping my spawner from doing what it's supposed to do. What is this one? Overworld fragment. Okay. I'm getting different fragments from them sometimes. Uh, you know, you get the cave fragment usually, but sometimes you get other ones from them. I did actually... Oh, you dumb idiot. Nice. Get knocked off. Get knocked off. Um, I did actually, b between episodes, I got a potato that I have growing in the farm now. So we, we're getting actually some of the regular drops from 
the zombies. It just kind of seems a little bit rarer, I guess. All right, I need to make my way down here somehow. Should I drop in on him? That's what you get. Oh, frig, another witch. Oh, wait, they're coming. They're coming my way. Oh, no, I'm poisoned. That's bad. <laughs> bad situation. Nope, I don't like it. I don't like it. Nope. Stop. Stop. I simply came here to gather some minecarts. Don't mind me. We're going to build a roller coaster. Oh, I'm going to get killed. I'm going to get killed really shortly here. Holy frig. A little, like, a little bit sketchy there. <laughs> I took an arrow to the shoulder. God dang. Nearly killed me. At least I got these protection four gold boots. They're saving my life out here. Now you need to kind of frig off a little bit. There you go. That's what you get. Gonna staircase this a little bit. Whoa, how are you getting here? How did you get here? Oh no. Oh, a carrot. Nice. Very nice. So yeah, we got like the, um, we got the potato. We hadn't gotten the carrot yet. So that's actually pretty handy. I'm gonna go plant that. Get that growing on up. Ayo, check it out. The crops are expanding. We got different crops now. Potatoes and a little bit of uh, carrot. Very nice. So uh, here soon, I'm going to have to maybe make some second farms. Maybe we can go down into this area and build out a couple more farms. Gosh dang it, slimes. Why is every series I'm doing full of slimes? WT fudge. Uh, but anyways, I'm also kind of trying to fix up this path a little bit here also. So... Um, it's kind of rough because we have this water here. It's kind of making things a little bit difficult, but I've made this a double pass so I won't fall off. Hopefully I made this a double stair and kind of had to clear up some of this water so you could actually get down here without water pouring all over the place. But yeah, anyways, we're, we're, we're doing good. Now we have our pathway down here. We need a pathway down to here. seems like the mobs kind of stopped spawning a bit. So that's good. We're a little bit clear in the clear right now. Some of these chains could be useful. I could build some like hanging lanterns or something. Could be kind of nice. Yo, what up? He fell from the sky. Creepers falling from the sky is kind of bonkers. So yeah, it's just, it's a mine shaft. I mean, we don't have much in the way of like chests or anything. We got mine carts, we got chains. So there's some stuff to be gained here. We got a lot of mob spawnage. Uh, but mainly we ticked off an achievement. So that's good. Very good. Oh, and there we go. I fall into the void. It wouldn't be an episode of Void Hero Map if I didn't fall into the freaking void. <laughs> it's gotta happen, man. Every time. Oh, no, I didn't light up this path, so we're getting some spawnage in here. Go away. I need to get more torches. Uh, I was just kind of trying to fix up my bit of staircasing here. And, of course, that resulted in my death. And it's gonna happen again, probably. Unless I get out of here very quickly. There's a lot of things. All right, so torches, we need to light up this area. Dang it, another freaking slime. Let me knock you off of here. Let me knock you off of here, please. I don't need any more slime balls. I don't need anything you're gonna drop. Just go away, please. I'm having a nap. My other sort of thought for today was, um, we have the nether fragment. I'm thinking if I go and build like a long ways away, out that way or something, like really far away, and uh, we throw some nether fragments and create like a chunk that's gonna be nether, but we want it to be far enough away that it's not going to, like, cause any problems to our main area or, like, spawn things in in our main area. We want it to only, you know, be doing stuff when I'm in the area. I kind of want to go up here and see what's up here, too. I'm going to need a lot of blocks. I'm going to use sand, I think, to pile up to that because then I can just kind of break it with a torch when I'm done. I'm going to grab some of this random stuff that I can maybe use as, like, building blocks to build out my area. Some sandstone, that's pretty good. Mossy cobble, yeah, yeah. We have the stronghold fragment too, and that says Y equals 10. So I'm thinking that we're gonna have to build up a bit for that. So we're not gonna do that one yet. We have a couple more of these too, treasure and pyramid fragments. Those are kind of always cool. Uh, but anyways, yeah, I think we should do some nether stuff today. I need to make those torches. Um, I have wood, I have stuff on me to do that. I'm gonna go grab some of the coal from over here. So I seen there was a bit over here. All right, got me some torches, uh, got the sand. Let's pile up to this thing. Hopefully, I don't know if 128 is going to be enough, but we'll find out, won't we? Oh, gosh darn it, it was just not quite enough. I guess we'll use some wood to finish it up. We have no other option. No! Why did this just happen? Why did I just do this? Fudge! All right, I guess we have to start over. <laughs> God dang it, man, what the heck happened there? All right, so let's go ahead and try that again. 
but this time better. All right, we've made it to the, the wooden zone here where I started piling up with wood. So I can go ahead and try and break some of this down as we go. All right, we are going to have to use wood again. We, we ran out of sand right at the last bit here, but that's all right. Oh, it's a witch hut, I think. I just heard a <laughs> I hear a cat, too. I didn't bring any fish with me, did I? Hmm, this is going to be tricky. How do I get in there without getting seen and... Nice, we've done it. Poor cat that's going to be stuck up here. I don't know how to get you down. I'm sorry. Redstone, and what else did we get? Uh, spider eye? Maybe we could just kind of, like, safety proof it a bit for the cat. We don't want you, uh... Where'd you go? Well, they don't take fall damage, do they? You get in there, and you stay inside there. You'll be nice and safe in there, I think. Yeah, you'll be, you'll be good. You'll be all right. Now, I kind of have an idea here for a way to get a lot of blocks. These pillars are kind of bonkers how big they are. So, I'm going to break this down. At least as far as I can. All right, that's about as much wood as I can get. I can always come back up here. Like, if I get more sand, I can pile up here and uh, do the same kind of thing. So that way I can get rid of these pillars and also kind of get a whole bunch of wood. So... Now, we're going to jump into this water. Hopefully, we make it. Yeah, frig yeah. Still got all the wood back that fell down from here, or at least most of it. Let's get rid of this sand. Come on. Get rid of the sand. There's all that sand back. That's very, very good. All right, so now what I'm thinking, since we already kind of started the nether over this way a little bit, I think we build out this way quite a ways. So, yeah, I'm going to take a bunch of these blocks, these random blocks that I have, and I'm just going to start piling out this way like a crazy distance. Maybe another good thing to do also before we do that is get more of the nether fragments. Because if you just light this portal and try and step in it, you kind of get those fragments every time. I think. Yeah. So we'll get a few more fragments. Very nice. And I'm thinking maybe there are going to be like some mobs that are spawning in the nether that you have to take out to actually get the um, next fragments. It's kind of what my thought is. All right, so I've made quite a ways away from the house and all the other stuff. I've come way out here. I'm hoping it's far enough away. I mean, that's a lot of blocks that separates us. So I don't think things should be able to spawn from here all the way, you know, when I'm over there. But <laughs> worst case, Ontario, we just kind of replaced the, the, um, the biome again, like how we did uh, last time. I did it too close. But anyways, let's go ahead and throw a fragment. Ooh, nice. This is actually really good. Yeah, because I need, I need Enderman, right? I'm probably still going to need to, um, you know, fill in the portal. So I got like a little bit of an Enderman farm here. He's going he's gonna to see me, isn't he? Hey, buddy. Come on in. Right there. Don't fall off the edge, though. Nice. Uh, what did we get? Island fragment. We actually got a new fragment. That's pretty cool. Hey, buddy. Would you like to get angry? Ooh, did we get another one? I think we got another one. Oh, no, we... What did we get? I don't think we got anything. Not an ender pearl or anything? Uh, I need to run home and make myself a new axe. I haven't had an axe for, like, a while. <laughs> since I started breaking down those pillars there. All right, I'm going back. I'm going to throw a few more of these cave fragments. Hopefully we get some... Or not cave fragments. I mean, uh, nether fragments. I'm going to do it. I kind of want to keep that blue island, though, so that way we get those uh, endermen spawners. So I may build, like, a little bit more platform and then throw it. I think this is definitely plenty far away, though. And like this, some of this we can get rid of and use it to build platform. So I fudged up and I threw it down again. I keep doing that. All right, let's try another one. This time stay on the platform. There we go. What have we got here? Oh, no. That's very bad. That's really bad. <laughs> oh, that sucks. <laughs> Why did that happen? All right, so I got to go try and take out that guy, I guess. What the fudge? I'm going to get ready on some blocks. I'm just going to pile up so that way he can't hit me. And then I can just smack him into oblivion. Interesting island spawn. Where did he go? Did he poof away? Dude, I think he poofed away. Yo, what did we get? Iron nuggets. Pork chop. A fortune axe, which I don't think that does much for me. Ooh, netherite scrap. We're going to need a lot of that if we're going to make anything good with it. But hey, that's kind of nice. All right, let's try and do another. Let's kind of fill in this gap between here if we can. I feel like I probably needed to take that guy out to maybe get a fragment, and I missed out on that opportunity because it just took me by surprise, caught me off guard. I don't know if it'll spawn more of them. I don't think I wouldn't think so, but you never know. Ooh, we just get like a little bit of an ore one. 
It's a little bit of nether gold, netherrack, some gravel. This is just like your basic. Oh, that's butts. A little bit of lava. Ooh, I think I see something there. Maybe. Do I see something? I do. I do, in fact, see something. Let's clear out the area around this. And let's mine. Well, it actually, I don't think it'll burn in the uh, lava, will it? We can get a netherite pickaxe, maybe. If we get lucky enough. Yo, this could be nice. Make sure there's no lava. Please don't be void underneath of it also. Whew, there was lava underneath of it. You know what? Um, I also, I really want to get the cows. I need to, I think off camera, I'm going to expand out the grassy area like a crazy amount. So that way, um, hopefully cows and stuff will spawn in. And because we're going to try and get some cows because we want to get enchantment going. I really would like to get enchantment going and we need cows for the leather for that. So that's my, maybe my next off camera project is just get a lot of grass, a lot of spawnage area and maybe get some cows, get that kind of farm situation going. All right, well, let's try and like fill in over here and we can um, throw another one over this way and get a little bit more stuff spawning in. All right, let's throw another one right about there. Oh, that went bonkers. Hey, I'm wearing gold, friends. I'm I'm a good person. I am not I'm not somebody you should attack, uh, but I do have some of this for you guys. Come on, give me some good stuff. I can probably just get rid of this gravel, I'm thinking. Ooh, soul speed. Kind of nice. Ooh, leather. We can get a little bit of enchantment going. Strider spawn egg. Nether bricks, not super useful. Uh, what can I get rid of? Let's throw that out for now. Hey, not too shabby. A little bit of trade going on. This is kind of nice. Strider spawn eggs. Soul speed, kind of nice. Nether bricks, not super useful. We can throw this into the chest stuff that... Oh, they get mad when you open a chest. I forgot. God dang it. <laughs> that was dumb. Alrighty, well anyways guys, thanks for watching another episode of the Minecraft Void Hero Map. If you enjoyed, make sure you hit that like button down below. That helps me out a bunch. Subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications so that way you don't miss out on any future streams or videos. Join the Discord so you can come by and chat. And if you want to help support the channel, it's only 99 cents here on YouTube, and that's going to get you a bunch of cool perks. You're going to get access to a 24-7 cross-platform vanilla Minecraft server that you can join whenever you want, or with me on Fridays for sure. The other day that I'm going to stream that, I'm not too sure yet. Things are kind of changing with my schedule, but we will see. Uh, also, you can check out merch. Link should be down below. You can check out this map. The link is also down below in the description. But uh, anyways, guys, thanks again for watching. Hopefully, we'll see you in the next one. Peace.